Well, hello there. It's Prof. Alanda here, your professor for this course and tour guide uh, for this video. I thought we would take a moment together to look at two important documents for this course, the syllabus and the course calendar, because I really want you to have uh, a good overview of what we're going to be up to in this summer semester. So let us start here with our course syllabus. So you can find the syllabus and the calendar uh, under the link on Blackboard, which is on the left-hand side, uh, called, very handily enough, Syllabus and Calendar. And when you open them, you will get these two documents. So the first here is the syllabus. It's so pretty, I think. Uh, I hope you think so too. Uh, what is important about this document is that this is our course contract, essentially. So this gives you an overview of what we're going to be looking at in the course, um, as well as when we go to the second page, very precisely what it is that you're learning from this course. So these are usually called the uh, course objectives as well as some of the things that you can look forward to doing in this course. So as you scroll down, you will see our textbook information. There is a textbook, I'm sorry to say, and it is mandatory, uh, but happily you can get it from either our bookstore and have it delivered to your house. You can order it from Amazon. And I'm pretty certain that there are some um, copies of it floating out there on Kijiji that you can buy secondhand to keep your costs a little lower. So the information that you need is right here. This is what the book looks like. That's its cover. And you can search for it by the ISBN number listed here. This other portion of the syllabus takes you through how you're going to be evaluated in the class. So it, it takes a look at how much weight of the course is uh, devoted to assignments and tests. This gives you a list of the types of assessments that you are going to be engaging in and how much they're worth. Uh, make sure that you read little notes like this very carefully because they will give you some more hints on how it is an online course is to be evaluated. You can further find more information about the structure of the course as well as what to expect and the materials that you will need to be successful. And then finally, this is the section on course policies. So important things are contained here that you will want to pay attention to. Things like um, how assignments are to be submitted, uh, where information about the course is located. Of course, it's the syllabus and calendar. Uh, important information about uh, deadlines. Things like um, policies about there not being any makeup privileges for assessments, as well as my policies on late submissions. So you can find all of that here. I also give you some handy notes on communication. One thing to point out to you here is point number five, uh, that I do celebrate Digital Sabbath on Saturdays, which just simply means that I will not be responding to email on that day. But you can be rest assured, come Sunday and Monday, I will get back to you as soon as I can. And the rest of the syllabus is devoted to the academic policies and procedures, so things to do with plagiarism, uh, cheating, and group work. So you will want to read that very carefully on your own. There, uh, there are some provisions for accessibility, so make sure that you uh, give this link a click and follow through. I put the student code of conduct here for you as well, so that you have a readily ready version available to you. 
and then some information about support services that are there for you. And even with the lockdown and not being able to physically be on campus, you can still access uh, the Student Success Center uh, quite easily. And then the last page, of course, is all the nice things about how you can contact me and a little note that um, our office hours, of course, are virtual. They're every Wednesday on WebEx from 1.30 to 2. And I will post more information as the time gets closer to how you can participate uh, in our office hours. So that, my friends, is the course syllabus. And look at that great hair. I had to take a picture of that. I had a really good hair day there. Yay. So the second thing I want to walk you through on our tour is the course schedule. This is the most important document governing our time over the course of the semester because it gives you a breakdown of everything that we are doing together. So the first thing to note is that many of the modules are two weeks in length. So if you notice, Module 2 spans both Week 2 and Week 3. Another thing to notice is that the readings are all listed here. So when you buy the textbook, uh, I give you the page numbers, and all of these things here are for you to be reading. And I know it looks like a lot, but remember, you have two weeks to go over the course module and the readings and participate in the assessments. One further note about assessments, you'll notice here that um, the start date of the week is noted. And you'll also notice that the assessments are connected up with a deadline. So for example, an upcoming assignment called a Rick Rant is uh, it will be opened during module two. You will have the, uh, the two weeks to work on it, but the deadline for it will be listed right here next to it. So you'll notice this on Friday, June 5th. So same here, uh, module three has a discussion board in the first week of the module, which means that it is due during week four. So all of the assessments over the course of the semester are listed with their due dates in addition to the readings. And that is what our semester looks like. So at least once a week you have something uh, to be submitting and working on. There will be sort of a split between little discussion boards bigger assignments, as you can see here, and, um, and this little assignment here. There are exams in this course I should let you know about. We have a midterm that is, um, you have a whole week to tackle this midterm uh, assignment. And we have a final exam, which is of course, the last week of our course together. And again, you will have the whole week from Monday, August 3rd to Friday, August 7th to submit the components of the exam. So everything in this course is online because it is an online course. So we will uh, never meet in person uh, unless you discount the fact that we will have regular fun little check-ins on Flipgrid and our office hours. So that is our tour for uh, this video. I hope you have found it helpful and just getting the lay of the land. All right, Profilanda out.